Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that would be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. Backside. This is facing the facing the uh, firewall on a 2007 HHR dash removal for heater core or evaporator. Three 13 millimeter bolts, I believe, in here on this side through a panel. Four studs for the brake right here. Two studs on the engine side to take off 10 millimeter nuts. Heater core hoses, AC lines. Three more bolts over here. <clears throat> heater duct right here had to take the that out and connectors of course the steering column wires probably too Pretty much a pain in the butt. Accelerator, accelerator pedal. Ooh, the whole center console. Annoying. Connectors for the computer. Side pieces, connector, nothing up here on the top, no screws, this goes on top of the metal bracket that's over here, kind of tough to get to. This is for the electric power steering pump assembly that goes on the steering column. That is the summary. Hopefully this helps someone. I didn't see anything online. We'll try and add to this video, hopefully. Some stuff. Got a 10 millimeter bolt down here. 10 millimeter bolt here. A couple 10 millimeter bolts down hidden here. That you have to unbolt. Can't even really see them. Oh, for sure, one right there. And there's one more. If you uh... remove this rubber piece, remove all the electrical connectors from everything. This has one seven millimeter bolt in it. somewhere over here I believe right there because it kind of hooks in here in the hole so it's easier to take it off Ooh, got a nice new cabin air filter Right there, not bad. Uh, take out these screws, and we're gonna have to separate this into two pieces.
Heater Core HHR 2007. Look at these little fingers you should pull back on the release. This cover right here. There's two of them. I think there's two, but yep, two fingers to release. You get the heater core out. It just comes out, I think. Oof. This has little fingers if you're trying to get to the uh, evaporator as well. Look out for those fingers. There's lots of bolts and guide pins here along the sides. All right, with a little bit of force, you can get this centerpiece out. This is going back together, but when you're taking it apart to get the dash out, that can come out three bolts on the side on this side and three on the other side and there's two studs in here one on the right side of the heater core and the evaporator and then there's one up here on the left. I did another one, but it didn't need to be done. That one does not need to be undone. So those two studs there, we did unbolt this. Take the four nuts off for that and pull this back a little bit to make it easier to get in and out. Three bolts like I talked about here, wiring harnesses. And then just be aware of this, uh, this is for electric power steering. It wraps up and around the top, up there. And so it has a little uh, strap, clip, whatever you want to call it, that holds it in place. But you can't see it, you can only feel it. So just be aware of that when you uh, tip this out. So you can loosen everything up probably and tilt it out a couple, three inches, and then you can reach up there and hopefully unplug it. I used a needle nose to get it undone so be aware of that power strip there. 13 millimeter bolt for the power steering. Do not turn the steering wheel once it's disconnected. You have your connections here for power steering wheel. I pull this red clip out I think to get this undone, I didn't undo it, so I'm not positive, but it looks like that was a security feature there. For uh, yellow is uh, airbag stuff. So there's that. Got those two side pieces, just got electrical connector. Little finger here. Fits in the slot hole. So we'll plug it in. Uh, where's my plug in? You lost it. Dang it. Uh. So don't lose your plug in underneath here. Five. 
Yeah, you probably won't. Both sides just have friction fit pins. They may or may not be in this. They might be stuck in here, but not a huge deal. I'll just click in and out of here. Just like that. That snapped into place as one finger, then one seven millimeter bolt under a cover. Just snap the cover off and get to your bolt. It fits in there. Then we got a small piece that goes down here. for the other side. Again, just friction fits. torn up before I even got here. That's basically it though. I'll see about fixing that. Same for the other side, pretty much the same setup. Now we'll install the body control module and stuff in here. Fun, fun, fun. Four nuts back there took those off took this off and that slides off 13 millimeter bolt for this to try and mark it so you can put it back in the same spot so the steering wheel is straight uh, pivot bolt up here is a pivot bolt and then two 13 millimeter bolts up here hold it in place and then you have your electrical connectors all the electrical connectors on your steering column you need to unplug them so that's where we're at this is still just a really an overview video not a step-by-step -step. all right so center console a bunch of crud 10 millimeter bolt down here Disconnect the connector over here. There's a connector. And uh, might be easiest to disconnect the shift lever here. Pull that up. Squeeze the terminals. And try to pull that off. I actually went underneath the vehicle according to the instructions and disconnected it at the transmission. But I think that's kind of a pain. So. I have a bolt here and on the other side as well and a couple in the center here folding it in and a 10 millimeter bolt I talked about previously so that'll be uh, bolting and unbolting that black piece got some stuff on the side and a bracket I flip those 
that way to unlock it and just push this over it'll push it push itself out same with this one seven millimeter in here and the other side is another one seven millimeter you could probably just take this off this off two 10 millimeter uh, a bolt and a nut down here push pin or I leave this on the bracket and uh, maybe just pull it out I don't know if you want to step on it but you could leave, leave it plugged in possibly on this side and swing it over but you're gonna be stepping on things connector right here connectors yeah there we are 10 millimeter bolt on the other side too for this bracket I believe and a little plastic clip as well got this piece in two 10 millimeter screws bolts nuts two 10 millimeter nuts two 10 millimeter nuts and a plug-in Come where you squeeze somewhere and disconnect it. I think it's underneath. Oh, right there. All right, so I guess this is a little weird. So open up your back hatch. I would disconnect your battery if you're doing this job. I'm not sure if it says that you have to, but I'd open up the back hatch. Disconnect the battery. Leave the hatch open because it's electronic and you won't be able to open it with the battery disconnected. But uh, you want to be shifting this into neutral. Which also doesn't seem to want to shift unless it's electricity is going. So electronic shift control deal. But uh, two screws here. It snaps into place otherwise. So we got this money holder thing and window switch thing. Friction fit. Drops into place and probably snaps in here. Beautiful. Like that. Got the beauty ring here cleaned up. Got debris on it. Snaps into place as well, I believe. Looks pretty good. And then this piece here also snaps into place and just connect uh, all your necessary electrical connections and just snaps into place. Up there and down there. That's it. So I think there was one horn-shaped, U-shaped uh, air duct that had a seven millimeter bolt that was bolted onto the uh, heater case assembly. Just make sure it gets back in this uh, bracket right here. And when you're putting it back together, if you can get to it, this is uh, for the airbag. Two studs go through here with a connector. to push that red tang backwards like it is and then you can release it so just when you're putting it back together I don't think this needs to come out for doing the dash uh, removal I did more stuff than I needed to really so but just be aware of that piece when you're bolting it in make sure it's all together before you put it in all right HHR got the order wrong so to back up so this goes in because it tucks behind here. So then we can snap this back into place really. And put our two screws in. There we go. Proper order. Friction fit panel, just three uh, friction fits here that slide in and out. So just give it a grab. It should uh, pull out no problem. 